Hey guys, what is up? Mike here. Thanks for tuning in to another video. First off, I want to say bear with me. I'm a little under the weather. I look sleepy. I uh, just woke up. I'm fighting a cold and I got my emergency in my water here. So I'm fighting the cold. Um, so I look all jacked up. But I think I'm beating the cold. I might beat it. I was bad last night. I feel like I might be a little better today. So we'll see uh, where I'm at. Anyway, um, in this video, I want to talk about the importance of identifying trends in the UI UX design space or the web design space, product design space, okay? And then recognizing those changes, identifying them and making sure that you're moving or taking steps towards things that are more valuable to you and your career. Okay, yesterday I read a comment in my last video. Um, somebody was saying, Mike, what about freelance and the folks um, that don't want websites anymore and they're just doing it on their own and Facebook pages and whatnot. This is the this is the old argument. This isn't this is an old argument for basic um, web designers, right? This is where I started. And when you're getting started in this industry, uh, this is how we all think. I'm not knocking anybody for thinking like this. This is how I thought. Okay, I actually built my career, I got into UI, UX design, product design as a freelance web designer. That was my dream, okay? So when I was younger, okay, I'm older now, I'm like old school. When I was younger, I thought that was the way. I thought the dream was to make a million dollars freelance in designing websites for people, okay? That in a nutshell is not is not the that that story right there is not true anymore or it, it was it was an idea but you you can't make a million dollars doing freelance okay so all you have to do is identify the trends in the industry and move towards those angles so instead of saying instead of thinking you know people that are that are interested in, in in doing their own fan pages or whatnot or Facebook pages and building their own websites with Wix or what what have you, you would never make money with that market to begin with. Okay, freelance is not dead by any means. Let me give you an example. My wife and I, for our business, for you know the real estate business that she's in, um, we we pay two hundred and fifty bucks a month for a a hosted service that allows you know MLS listings email marketing all this stuff I think we pay about 300 bucks a month okay give or take we don't we don't I can't even tell you exactly the cost that we we, we pay but it doesn't matter because it brings in business okay it's a solution that brings in business and the $300 that we're paying a month and the cost to actually build it to put the site together now get this I spent time building our build, putting our site together because they get when they give you a hosted any of these companies that give you a hosted solution you have to customize it to your brand right I spent time doing it because I couldn't find anybody right and I just wanted to get it done but if I knew that I could rely on this person and we pay them 2500 bucks two thousand dollars to actually customize our pre-built solution we would have paid that Okay, when you have a small business, they're not worried about two thousand dollars or twenty five thousand, twenty five hundred dollars here, or even three thousand dollars, right? We're worried about making fifty k, a hundred k, you know, monthly, right? That's what we're looking at through our investments and whatnot as a small business. We're not, you know, we're not worried about the little details. So, if your goal and you want to identify, you want to still go after uh, a freelance and you need to offer services towards small businesses that have you know that are in that market who is not who who, are, who aren't really worried about paying two thousand dollars here and there for you to help them customize these pre-built hosted services you know you offer the service to build someone's facebook uh fan page offer the services to do all these things to to use wix dot com and use uh what's the other one squarespace.com or use any of these hosted services out there 
use those solutions to help these small businesses put their sites together. Small businesses don't have time for that. They're trying, like I said, small businesses are trying to make that 50K a month, that 100K a month, that 150K monthly, right? They're looking at bringing in new business. They're not worried about those small things. Um, it's like, look at all the do-it-yourself services out there, painting, right? We just had our house painted, it cost five, five grand, right? I mean, you can go to the store and paint a room yourself. I mean, have you ever tried doing that? I mean, I've tried doing that for three hours and the paint was all, uh, all blotchy and all that stuff. I'd rather pay somebody, you know, 300 bucks to do a room, right? I'm not worried about that. So small, your, your mind is probably a little bit too small if you're thinking freelance in that aspect and the industry might be moving. But let me just go a little further. You gotta identify trends in the market um, and and move t move away towards things that are more valuable, right? Graphic design. I moved away from graphic design because when when we started to have these marketplaces and services out there where I can I can buy um, I can buy pre built graphics like on a website in a in a marketplace images. I don't need to do photography right now. I just pay money 25 bucks to get a really beautiful piece of photography right sock photo for a website icons so many people love designing icons i haven't touched i haven't created an icon in like over eight years in my opinion um, why because there are millions of icons that i can just buy for five bucks so i'm not going to be spending my time building my skill set and offering my value to companies in those services okay but I'm gonna be offering my services in other avenues. And that's why I always direct people to product design, right? Just had a meeting yesterday with our new team that we're building out at ADP, myself, some front-end designers, some, I mean, these back-end designers, they, they know Java, a new front-end uh, uh, ninja who, who knows everything about the front-end and stuff like that. And so I got all these people, myself included, and all these back-end warriors. Like, these guys are rock stars. Okay, we can build anything in, with those type with those teams, right? But it's invaluable when you put yourself in a situation like that at a company to network with those people. The possibilities are endless. You know, we were just joking, man. We should build our own product, right? Right. We know that hasn't that we haven't gone there, but the seed is like, yeah, we have everything we need to to build our own product, right? All the back end guys, front end guys you know, UX guys and product designers and stuff like that, and just knowledgeable people. That's where I say going to that avenue, that's where it is right now. Okay, stop worrying about freelance. Freelance, you can still offer that as a, as a, as a uh, supplemental income. But let me just say this. The ADP doesn't make money, doesn't make, uh, you know, they make, 11 12 billion dollars annually why because they offer solutions to customers right customers that uh, use their services and whatnot that's where you have to think you know um, you have to go into markets that offer services and 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 solutions and applications to um, to customers and things like that in b2b worlds or what, what have you consumer world as well but look at the trends on how these companies are making money. Look at their business models and identify where you can fit in. And that's where um, you, we have to start thinking. Don't, don't think small, okay? Don't think small. If you think small um, and you hold on to these little nest, these, these little things, they get taken away and now you're upset and you play the victim role. You don't want to do that. Identify the trend and move towards those trends stay with me watch my videos i'll always speak the truth and direct you in places where i think uh, the market is going thanks for watching guys as always hit the like button if you like the things i talk about and visit my website mlwebcode.com ML my battery's about to die and shoot the contact link um if you use the contact link if you want to shoot me a question and i'll be happy to answer anything for you all right we'll talk soon guys peace